Give us the outlook for uh, pricing ASPs. Uh, are OEMs chasing margin or volume? Yeah, that's a good question. Definitely the margin. Uh, it will be a flat market in our estimates and all OEMs, since it is flat, are reaching for higher ASPs and uh, better margins. And especially uh, one uh, area that's actually growing is the premium segment. Even during this recessionary period and tough times, uh, the, the high end, uh, you know, over $700 market actually seen growth. So all OEMs are trying to attack that. Who would you say is leading in the 5G race? Well, absolutely Apple. Uh, in a down market, Apple more than held serve. Uh, and we expect them to be one of the few OEMs to have growth in 2023. Uh, the other being Honor uh, and uh, uh, potentially OnePlus, two Chinese OEMs. The rest of the market, we're expecting uh, a decline. So, Jeff, you know, you, you just got through telling us that uh, the market overall, uh, you know, the, the, the size of the pie hasn't really grown very much, right? And therefore, uh, players are going for, for margin. Uh, would it make more sense in a, in a situation like this for them to try and get a bigger piece of the pie, as in volume, market share? Yeah, um, usually that is the case. But uh, with the Chinese vendors uh, in uh, China, which uh, just a few years ago was a 400 million unit a year market, and now it's under 300 million, and we're only expecting 2 to 3% growth this year. Uh, so the Chinese OEMs are actually very uh, conservative and not trying to expand into other regions like they were maybe two, three years ago. And uh, yeah, so it's more of a battle to just conserve margins and yeah, move into the, the high end. Uh, you know, due to, due to, the, due to the, yeah, the expectations of a you know, recession, it's the low end of the market that's uh, really been hampered. And that's where a lot of these uh, uh, Chinese vendors have gained a lot of share and that mm -hmm. kind of has dried up.